Hey everybody, this is the Grim Blitz. And Hobber Gobber. Playing a small game called The Littlest Acre. It's a uh, kind of point and clicky type adventure. That was. Uh, uh, that was a new, new game. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm Explosions. not quite sure. Explosions. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I picked this game up a little while ago. Because it just looked absolutely adorable. And, I mean, like, look at this. Look at the art style. All of this is hand-drawn. <laughs> Daddy's fat. That's granddaddy. Oh, that's granddaddy? Yep. Is that his trophy wife? Nah, lab assistant. Ah. Uh, <laughs> every time he moves, he jiggles. Well, yeah, it's because he's fat and he's in the adorable world. <laughs> See, I really like this. I really like anything that has a really individual or, uh, oh, like portal. special art style to it. Whoa, whoa, this is way different now. Yeah, it looks like she's seen some shit. Aw, she's sad. Where's fat guy? He must be How trapped. am I gonna get paid now? Yeah, that's a good question. <coughs> <coughs> mm. I walked to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom. Long butter. She was still fast asleep, and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. It, oh, Lily's the girl, right? Yeah. To get dressed will this guy is kind of a schmuck. A schmuck? Just a bit. Okay. You gotta, you gotta figure th these things out. My boots are nearby, but I need to uh, put on my trousers you first. You gotta, you gotta get your trousers. My trousers! So, I would say, uh, try to get the shirt. Probably. Shirt. So, wait, what is it? Okay, your sweater. So, you need your pants, trousers, your shirt, shirt, your sweater, and then your boots. Yep. Morning, Dougal. Dougal. You got a little stick. Mmm. No. Were just <laughs> is, is, the cold, is the floor cold or something? Oh, wait, no, no, am I supposed creaks. to steal this? Uh, creak. <laughs> See? Okay, no. Now you can use the stick to reach the trousers. Exactly. <laughs> that, that is some. Yeah. Lily wait, made, what? <clears throat> Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Yeah, that's. Sounds disgusting. Ooh. Oh, that stinks. That's a big dog. Okay. Oh, so I'm guessing how, you're gonna use you... his stinky breath to wake her up. Or yeah. you're trying not to wake her up. You're gonna try not to wake her up, or at least not be to blame for her being woken up. Uh, okay, so. All right, so what do you have? Okay. What are your options? I have a stick okay. and a half sandwich. Alright. Let's see if I can. Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still cooling it. Uh, hmm. Wait, right, hold on, hold on. I think, I think <laughs> you might have to. You might have to go. What are you doing? I just, you just I tried like that. Trying food around the room. No, no, I, I tried to put it on the least. sweater. I wanted to see if I could put it, like, on her face so the dog would, like, come and lick her awake or something like that. Because he's got stinky breath. Yeah. Okay, so we've got. All what else do you have? A stick. Okay. Why don't you try to use it? I don't know on the dog. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I've played through this twice already. So that dog, that dog's head doesn't look right. He just rolled over. She turned it to the I side. I know, but it looks like his head. Uh, okay, now sweater. Now how are you gonna get the sweater? I'm gonna use my handy dandy stick. Even with the stick. Oh. So close, I, but no. Okay, so what are my options? I got a sandwich. Here's the sandwich. Eat the sandwich. Oh, that actually worked. And now I'm going to trade said. Ew. More rolling, and I'd see that sandwich again. Or can I just wait for him to yawn again? He wasn't gonna just let me take it. Maybe okay, okay, so I do need to give him the stick. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no! Guys, you gotta, you gotta so wait! You oh, impatient no. fucker! I if I could swap the yeah, oh, okay, okay, I got so you. Now, you, I got you. Don't you. 
Ah, oh, there, there you go. Put it on the sweater, like right there. And now. Perfect. That was my cue to sneak out of there. Okay. See, now you can go, because she's got the pillow over her head. So now she won't hear my loud stomping. <coughs> stomp, 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 Yeah, because apparently stomp. you're fucking Goliath. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone new where my You're apparently in an First, unemployed loser. Take care of. It's about how old am I, though? No, I don't know. Old enough to have a daughter. Okay, but okay, not so you move. I think you relocated so you won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. Shit. Whatever. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. I picked up the jug. I need water to make Lily's breakfast. Okay. Hooray. That's the utensils hung from the wall by the fire. For now, at least. <coughs> Until I can make, make her breakfast, I'm guessing. Else to swing well, kind of. Okay. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Demented she, child. She, she's a bit of a crazy chick. I can tell so far. I tried to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. She yeah. gets to him anyways. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why I had to take him off. Wait, what? Yeah. That's uh, great. His, his dad is an inventor. Ah, well, look, uh, it's, that it, his it's, dad? It's, your, it's your father and your wife who does not seem to be here for reasons unknown. Hmm. She left me for my father. <laughs> That would be great and terrible the at the same time. On a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Good for you. And him, I guess. This is an interesting, like, style. Yeah, it can be... A so little... I'm guessing... Do -do -do. Okay. Nice. Pump some of that water for Lily oh, to break this. Yeah, you broke it. Oh, wow, I broke it. Pump handle it snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. I think I just heard the call it was of the take something heavy to force it down. <laughs> no, it's more along the lines of it. There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. That's a solid block of wood, mate. Sounded like you were trying to be a mixture of Australian and uh, JFK. Which, uh, I had no idea. <laughs> I just Sometimes wanted something. That I can't really make any voices right now. Yeah. Dad converted the garden shed into a oh yeah, that's right. You said you were sick. Mm-hmm. You and your foul diseases. Hmm. That's Victor, scroll it down. Don't bother the microphone, puppy. Hmm. Something's blocking. I wonder what you could use to possibly get the door open. Handle. First time I played this, I I was literally stuck here for like 20 minutes, <laughs> going like, "What the fuck? Like, what what the fuck am I supposed to do?" I need a crowbar. Well, I just didn't put two and two together because I didn't really like, I didn't realize how the game kind of went. Mm, nope. Nothing worked. Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. Dad not paying the fucking electricity bill because he disappeared. Yeah. It looked like the pitchfork was oh, well. from its resting place. Go back to sleep, pitchfork. 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 <laughs> yeah, right. I couldn't see a thing, and the idea of walking around a room in the dark when my father invented things. God, he had no trust in his dad whatsoever. Eh. So well, you don't Lily's know, your maybe... sister, right? Lily's his daughter. Oh, your daughter. Okay, just yeah. make sure. Thought we had established oh, that yeah, okay. already. I just didn't remember. Okay, so I'm not really seeing any clicky clicks. Yeah, you're you're done in here. 
Although you do have a pitchfork now, which means you can totally chase after Frankenstein once you get a uh, torch. Torch. I can. Oh. I can finally join the mob. Le yeah, I was gonna say you're leaving the area you need to be. Victus, you need to chill out, buddy. The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle push. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh. Victus, come No, on. I don't want the stool. Hiya! Yet another impressive feat of engineering. So, oh, I have a hammer now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Well, well, Why did I throw the pitchfork away? I know, he just chucks it over I the fucking wall. I could have killed something with that. <laughs> okay, so now you got your jug of water. Now I can go make Lily's breakfast. Yeah, hopefully not get the wrath of Lily. <coughs> whatever that afraid. may be. I admire my uh, wife again. Yeah, it's uh, so fancy and lovely to see my wife, who's not here. So, wait, 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 so... That's I your think, dad, right? Yeah, or, that's your dad. Why did, why did your, why does your dad and your wife have the same hair color? I don't know, cause... Like, I, I, uh, hey, a duck staff. Or a cane, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Alright, so you got some water. Oh, um, go in there. Here? Yeah. <sighs> dad. Oh, this is your dad's room? Yeah. He had a spooky mask. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Scaring the Ooh. children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I wear the mask? Eh. I have to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> yeah, that could be useful. That would be nice. Strict instructions to report her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Okay, so. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other. You look at the notes. The water powers it. It looked like there was something missing, but I haven't figured out what. <laughs> really, you you haven't figured out. What is used to power? Like, well, just. I mean, the water is, is technically just the coolant. So. We're gonna put a mask in there. Just, just, just stuff it in the power source. It'll be fine. It'll, <laughs> run, it'll run off. Can't the... you tell? Fear fuels this. Yeah, exactly, but you gotta go out and scare all the children's first. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Coolant? It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. My penis! <laughs> yep, I think, I think that's, that's everything you gotta do in here. Sometimes it's work of making forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside. Or wearing any clothes in general. So, one time he went downtown in his birthday suit. Pure yeah, star. He's on the sexual predator list now. <laughs> Try going out the front door. It, it took me a second, half a second, to remember something that was going on. But uh, yeah. mice. Mouse. You should you should make a left and go and go to the. Uh, Take into account Lily's willfulness. It was often easy to indulge. Here's a spooky stone. Spooky stone. That's in this case, a gnome. No, the one in the back, right there. It's got writing on it. Mm. Let's see what it does. Or is that a grave? Oh. It is a grave. Your wife is dead. Oh. She didn't leave you for your father. She's dead. But what if she did leave me? What if she was just cheating on me with my father? Well, what if she was really my sister, and that's why she had the same hair color as my father? That is a because she's really like, good, but really incestuous. Yeah, uh, I know, but I mean, look, they point. live in the they live in the the country of who knows. Oh, this where. is no, this is supposed to be 1950s Ireland. I wanted to go that way. I don't give a shit about your desires to go that way. Go and get the mail. 
I don't want the mail. All it ever is is bills and no nudie pics from the neighbors and uh, a package. Dear Aiden, thank you for your application to the position of repair clerk at Boyle and Sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer your position at this time. While I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable of the role, I think you should well be you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation. Perhaps at the hydroelectric dam with your father. I wish you every success in your future endeavors. Kind disregards, Sean Boyle. <laughs> nice. Uh, so, owner and uh, owner and manager. So wait, wait, wait. You have engine military engineering. Yeah, you were in the yeah, you were in the military. And you know where your father is. No, you have no idea where your father is. Perhaps at the new hydroelectric dam. He's been missing for days. But he just said at the hydro there. Where he Aiden, used to Aiden, work. Aiden knows asshole. Something. Aiden knows something. He's, he's just assuming things. Unemployment rise. Oh, okay, yeah. This is just trying to be like, oh. And end up patrol. This is why race. he doesn't. This is why Aiden doesn't have a job. It's because there's a shortage of jobs. To Arthur. That is your father. Hmm. Sniffle through that Arthur, stuff. This is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I I'm tempted to make, to make a trip, trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to Ugh. say the least. If what you say about the oh, it's Nina. Nina's, is true, uh... then I fear what may happen when this company begins to yeah, we'll get to who Nina is a here. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results Ooh, of smuggling things. They'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Money, 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 money. Right. Strange crystal was obviously important to my father. Let's go drop him. Anything to do with going missing. See. I decided to do a little snooping around. And with that lovely new crystal we have. I think we're going to hold it here and catch all of you lovely folks in the next episode. All right. Catch you guys later. Bye.